guys, I'm Laura Vitali. I've got a very special guest today. This is Elenia. Ciao a tutti. She is my brother's girlfriend. If you follow me on social media and if you follow me on my blog channel, I've actually even mentioned it here once before uh, in the up latest videos. Uh, they are here on vacation from Italy. And if you've been following me for a long time, you know we go to Italy every single summer. And every time we go, they've been together for a long time. <laughs> but every time we go, she makes this dessert, which is my brother's all-time favorite dessert, which is kind of like a cookie Nutella trifle, which is so easy to make. But I always share it on Instagram because it's the only time of year I eat it. Because I only eat it when she makes it because I've never made it before. I've never seen it anywhere else. So since you guys knew she was coming, I've had so many people ask if she could show you the recipe. So we thought it would be a great idea. It's easy and simple, perfect for the holidays, perfect for summer. I mean, it's, she's made this for so many different occasions. I don't even know uh, how many, but it's really easy. So we want to show you the ingredients. You're going to need very few, but you know, that's what makes it really good. Whipped cream, lots of whipped cream. You want to whip it to stiff peaks, but not turn into butter. Of course, you're going to need some Nutella. It is the star of the show. You'll need some milk, and then you'll need some cookies. Now, traditionally, you use an Italian cookie called pan di stelle, which is so hard for me to find here in the States unless I go to New York City, which I wasn't going to go to New York City just to get a cookie. But any chocolate cookie will do. Any sort of denser, um, not a very soft cookie. It should be a sort of uh, a big crunchy cookie, I guess. More like a biscuit. Think of it like a biscuit. Any chocolate biscuit will do. And that's all you're going to need. And it's really simple and easy. Okay. Tu fai la cosa e faccio nada. Va bene, inizio con i biscotti. Ok. Mi spieghi non mi? Allora, dobbiamo bagnare i biscotti nel latte. Ok. Io li bagno leggermente. Ok. She's dipping each cookie in the milk. She's only dipping it a little bit. Otherwise, what's going to happen is if you leave them in the milk too much, they absorb way too much of the milk and then pretty much fall apart. Now, the exact measurements of this recipe, I don't have them. I'm going to give you sort of a rough uh, estimate of the amount of things you're going to need simply because, as you can see, the recipe will vary depending on how big your tray is that you're putting it on, your trifle bowl, because you can make this in a trifle bowl and make multiple layers, kind of like a traditional trifle. What she does, and what she's always done, is she makes it in a platter that's got sort of higher sides, and she only does about three layers or so, which is perfect because this is very, very decadent. Quando tu fai questo, lo sciogli questo? Sì, inizia a sciogliere la Nutella okay. nella pentola. Okay. I'm going to take Nutella and I need to melt it a little bit. Otherwise, it's hard for um, it to kind of spread on the whipped cream. So I'm going to just take a small jar. We're going to probably have some leftovers, but you know, there's plenty left back here behind the scenes that are going to enjoy this, so it's all good. And I'm going to put this in a small saucepan, and I'm going to keep very close attention to this because I don't want to cook it. I just want to gently, very, very gently, kind of soften it, make it almost pourable. Not like completely liquid, but you want it to have some movement. But put this on really low heat, otherwise it's going to scorch it. So she's going to continue to do that, and then we'll show you sort of how we layer everything. This is looking good. Now, she's got one layer done. As you can see, she breaks up the cookies and makes it fit. That's kind of what you want. You want to break them up just so that you don't have any big gaps with no cookies on it. Allora, prossima. Adesso mettiamo la panna. Now, you need to put some cream, some of your whipped cream. Now, she's doing three layers, so you want to just make sure you divide your, you know, your cream and your Nutella into thirds. That's why it's so hard for me to give you an actual recipe, because I don't know how big your platter is going to be. I don't know how big, you know, your trifle bowl is going to be. You just want to... Play by eye, kind of. That's really the beauty of cooking, is that you don't have to always be so precise and give yourself the exact measurements because that kind of ruins the fun a little bit. But, this is a bit effective, right? Eh? Si, si. She's quite the baker. It's her, she's kind of, uh, you know, in our family, and even around town with our friends and family, she is just known for this dessert. And I've never had it in my life. I, I just always have it when she makes it, and it's always... Okay, really adesso mettiamo la Nutella. Okay. Facciamo questo, eh? Ok. Quando ce lo mettiamo? Cioè, inizia a fare sì. Ok, ok, vai. Just take some of your Nutella, you can see a little bit at a time. And it's gonna sort of smear a little bit, but that's, you know, what happens. And then the next layer of cookie will soak it up. You've got three full layers, and then you end up with sort of a fourth layer of cookie on the very top. Now, this looks like a mess, but it needs to go in the fridge for a while, or the freezer. 
The option is really yours. Now, my brother would eat it just like this, which is kind of, you can't even serve it because it'll fall apart. But put this in the freezer for several hours. The very best thing you can do is you put it in the freezer, in, in the fridge in the morning, and then you eat it for dinner, you know, after dinner. You can also put it in the freezer for about an hour or so just so that the outside will set and the inside will still be gooey. It's really up to you. It's how you'd like to serve it. And then you can decorate the top with more whipped cream, or when we serve it, we're going to just dust it with some confectioner sugar. We're going to pop this in the freezer. Mezzoretta, mezzoretta. Si. About half an hour. Just a little camera shy, okay? Be kind. And we match today. <laughs> <laughs> she has a gorgeous beaut, I will say that. I'm going to pop this in, and I'll show you the final product, and then we will devour it for dinner. Freeze it. This was in the freezer for about an hour. Now, if you put this in the refrigerator, you're not going to need to cut it with a knife. But if you put this in the freezer, it's going to firm up on the outside, so you're going to need to cut it with a knife. Like I said, the option is yours. And if you put this in a trifle bowl, then you can just scoop it. So really, it's up to you. You can decorate the top with a beautiful piping bag, you know, a beautiful piping of heavy cream. We know each other. We've known each other for almost six years. You know I don't have that kind of patience. If I don't have to, I don't. So I just top it with a little confectioner sugar just to give it a little dusting of a little extra something sweet like it really needs it but it doesn't matter I'm gonna give this a try because we do have people to entertain so we're gonna just cut a little bit right there you can see all the layers have kind of molded together okay se lo riesco a prendere perfetto si da provare you really need to try it this is so bad because we still have dinner to eat but now we're eating dessert and another most we have she's much better than I am I self control it's easy it's delicious. If you can find honey salad, use those. But really, honey chocolate biscuit will do. I will have sort of the estimated amount of everything listed on my website. Of course, I've got a million Nutella recipes on my website for you to try. Give this one a go. Please share a photo on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, whatever you whatever you like, whatever you prefer. I always love seeing the recreation. Hope you enjoy spending time with us. See you next time. Bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>